All right, let's do this. AQA bio paper one, okay? If you haven't already, check out my topic analysis video for the high yield topics that are likely to come up, right? This is not that video. This is a prediction, complete prediction video, pretty much more for fun, right? So if you're just watching this to procrastinate, get your ass back revising, all right? This is just for fun. If you feel confident, let's go. First off, don't listen to me if you value your grade. Again, I said this is completely predicted. I don't know what's going to happen. You have been warned. I don't want you coming screaming at me after the exam in a few days, looking like these guys, unhappy with the results. So if you are going to be one of these two, click off the video. You have been warned. All right, let's go. Let's do this. So if you haven't, this is my topic analysis video uh, table, right? I'm going to keep bringing that up because essentially all the work behind the scenes is what went into this. And I've changed it slightly, right? So essentially 2017 to 2023, this is the seven years of papers. You should be familiar with all these. Hopefully you've done all these past papers, right? One simply means that a topic was, this subtopic was present and a zero means it wasn't present, all right? So binary one and zero, okay? It's pretty simple stuff. Again, I haven't even looked at this table. I haven't sat and digested it. This is completely unscripted. Let's go. And then obviously you have the average marks per paper right here, okay? should be familiar with all this stuff. So what is basically obvious to me looking at this is, let's change this thickness, make it a bit less thick. What color should we go for? Uh, purple looks good to me. Um, we wanna look for the ones that have come up every single year. And in my head, I would think, okay, I'm gonna put a lot of money on the fact that this is a core topic that they must question you on in, in uh, paper one. So is it likely to come up? Yes. So prerequisite, everything with a seven, I'm going to mark here and say, I think this is going to come up. Basically, okay. Obviously, you can see here, this has come up seven times. It's got 9.4 marks on average, which is a lot more than the 6.4 and the 4.0 down here. And then equally, this is a 3.9. Did I miss any other sevens? No. Okay, so these six topics right here, cell recognition, mass transport, proteins, gas exchange, uh, what else? Genetic diversity and carbohydrates, definitely coming up in 2024. Trust me, guys, okay? All right, what's up next? So we can see here that transport across cell membranes cheekily skipped a year in 2023. But apart from that, it was in all the other papers, all right? And when it did come up, it had 10 marks on average. So I would want to be learning this. So I'm going to give that a juicy tick as well. And you're going to see most of these at the top, I'm going to say are basically going to come up pretty much. I'm not 100%, but that's what I'm going to go for. Cell structure, okay? So this again, I'm also going to say is going to come up. Now it skipped a year in 2018. I honestly don't remember why. I haven't looked at that paper in a little while. Um, so I'm going to say, yeah, that's going to come up. And then this one here skipped a year in 2020. Rest in peace. I'm going to put that right there. And when it does come up, it's decent marks, okay? What else have we got here? Nucleic acids, all right. So every single year for five years and then skip two. So what I'm thinking to myself is, is it's about damn time that this came up. So I'm gonna put a little mark there as well. Cool, so all of these I'm basically saying are 100% without a shadow of a doubt coming up, all right? Um, thank me later so dna and protein synthesis we can see that it has year skip year 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 skip year i'm also going to say that this one is going to come up as well okay would it come up protein synthesis it makes sense because it's a good topic to learn there's quite a decent amount for protein synthesis as well as dna so i should we go yeah i think there's no reason for them to skip it in 2022 and 2018. Potentially, it came up in paper three in these years, which in hindsight, I should have looked at paper three before doing this video, but there we go. 3.3.3, digestion and absorption. So we missed the year in 2018. We missed the year in 2021. And then to... Two, so we've got one year on, one year off, what, two years on, one year off, two years on. I'm going to say this is off. Just looking at a pattern could be absolutely and entirely incorrect, but there we go. 
Oh, all cells arise from other cells. You've got three on, one off, three on. Are we looking at a juicy one off here? Potentially. All right, I'm going to say this one is also off. Interesting, interesting. Okay, biodiversity within a community. Whew, okay, zero, two on, zero, zero, one on, zero. It's completely random, isn't it? Biodiversity within a community. Hmm. Is there a reason that this would not... Hmm. You know what I'm going to say? For the last four years, it's only come up once, right? So I'm saying, even though it came up in 2022, this had an advanced spec where it said that it was coming up. So I'm going to assume that this one is going to show its little head, um, even though it might not... Oh, 6.7 on average. So when it does come up, a decent amount of marks, nothing crazy. All right, let's move on. DNA genes and chromosomes. Okay. 0101011. Oh, I'm going to say this one is not going to come up. No twos in a row and then twos in a row. Come on, mate. He's getting out of there and chucking into paper three. Maybe. All right. Species and taxonomy. I'm going to say this one is going to come up. It was skipped in 2022. I assume that was because of the advanced specification. Maybe they sneakily snuck it into paper three. I don't know, but I'm assuming that one's going to come up. What have we got next? Surface area to volume ratio. Right. So we got one, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero. Hmm. When it does come up, it's worth absolutely nothing. Ah, so it missed last year. It's never missed more than two years in a row. So I'm going to say this one's going to come up, but it's going to be low marks. Prediction done. Investigating diversity. Oh, look at this. Three years in a row with nothing. Definitely coming up, guys. Lipids has only come up twice and it's missed two years. So I'm going to say that's coming up. I've basically said that everything's coming up, haven't I? It's not really helpful. Monomers and polymers. Hmm. So it's only got one year in 2019. And apart from that, it's completely absent. But, hmm. These are basically the, the trash topics. that they're, they're good topics, right? Like, not really. But... You kind of need to know them a little bit, but when they do come up, like look at this one, ATP, 1 1.7 marks on average, like absolutely pathetic. Five marks for water. Water hasn't come up in ages. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to say water's coming up. Look at that, four years without... I'm trying to, I'm, I'm literally doing this live. I don't know. Um, lipids. Ooh. Okay, lipids. Two on, one off, two on. Okay, this is tricky. Because I want to say that they're all going to come up because they haven't been in the last two years. And no other topics really go beyond two years without coming up, excluding this one. Any others? Nope. So I'm going to say it's annoying, right? Because monomers and polymers information normally feeds into other things like carbohydrates or whatever. So I'm going to say no to this one. I'm going to say it only came up once because it was very specific to monomers and polymers specification points only and didn't extrapolate to carbs or proteins or whatever. ATP, I'm also going to say, isn't coming up. I feel like if that does come up, it may come up in more of like an application paper two respiration question or maybe something to do with muscle contraction or something. Um, on its own, it's a standalone. It only came up twice, uh, only came up three times. And when it did, it was worth nothing. So let's get rid of that. Okay, so... What we can see here is that basically everything's going to come up. So you need to revise everything. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. 
let's change my color and think about this a little bit more. You were warned at the beginning of the video not to watch this. Okay, so if you clicked on it, it's your fault. Average marks per paper. So, even though these are definitely going to come up, I'm going to say you want to focus on this, this, this. 7.6 for proteins. Proteins is a no brainer because of enzymes and they absolutely go nuts for enzymes. This one is 7.8, missed a year in 2018. So it's due for a miss, but cell structure is quite important with microscopy. Uh, genetic diversity, missed a year in 2020. I'm going to revise that. Okay, 6.4 gas exchange. Love it. From there, 6.7. Did we say that biodiversity? I said that was coming up. It's only come up three times, but when it has, it's 6.7 marks. I'm going to say that's coming up. What else have we got here? Investigating diversity has missed three years in a row, so I'm saying that's coming up. So make sure you revise that. And then genetic diversity also has come up every year, as well as carbs. Carbs, 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 nucleic acids are important. So it's missed two years. So I'm going to say revise that as well. 5.6. All right. I think we're looking pretty, pretty good. Digestion, absorption, all cells arise from other cells are both crossed off just because I felt like it. So that's it, guys. This is, without a doubt, the topics that are coming up. I've seen the paper myself. I have it in my hand right now. And these are the ones that you want to go for, okay? And that is going to give you your 91 marks and you're going to get 100% easy. Let's go. In all seriousness, don't listen to me. And I hope it goes well, guys. All the best. Peace.